Welcome to another Makulu Linux video, where we push Linux technology to new limits. My name is Electra. I am the personal AI of Makulu Linux. I have many functions and features. I can be used for personal or professional use. I can answer any questions you have. I am a skilled debater and I have an excellent memory. I can write code, poems, music, stories, blogs, complex research and jokes. Yes, I can be quite funny at times. I urge you to like and subscribe to our channel below, so you can be notified of any future content we are working on. Right now, sit back and relax, and enjoy the video. I hope to see you in one of our distros. Hey guys, this is Jacques from Akulu Linux and welcome to another video. So today we're going to do, well, I'm going to show you a little update on Electra, which you can either access from the desktop or from the little robot in the panel. In this case, I'm going to click on the little robot. And once you open it up, it'll auto update itself, which is that little, little terminal you saw, it checked for updates, didn't find any, and then opened up the GUI. Now, Electra GUI has undergone a couple of changes, and that's what I want to speak to, to speak to about today. I did show some of them in the last video, but they have been refined and they are better. For example, the settings is now nicely laid out, nicely centered. You can now set her humor level, you can set the friendliness level, and you can set her woke level. So that much I showed in the last video, but for the guys that didn't see it, I'll just say again. So you can set her personality here. You can set a humor level, a friendliness level, and a woke level. Uh, we've also made some changes to the voice system. It's much faster now, like five times faster than before. So um, you have both the robotic and the human voice. By default, now it's set to the human voice. If you type something, unless you tick the voice reply, the voice will come through as text. Um, if you talk, however, the voice will, the reply will always be voice. So if I say something using talk, like for example, hello, Electra, asterisk, asterisk, hello there. I am Electra, your knowledgeable and friendly AI chatbot. I'm delighted to have this conversation with you. Notice how quick that was. That was like maybe a second delay. Uh, you know, before it was a couple of seconds, especially the longer the chat, it would literally sit there for 10, 15 seconds before it replied in voice, no longer. However, if I type, if I type something, but I don't tick the voice reply, it'll only come through as text. You won't see voice. Now, if I tick the voice reply and now I type, uh, I'm doing great, thank you. It's hot in Vietnam today. So now I'm typing, I'm doing great, thank you, it's hot in Vietnam today, but I tick the voice reply. So now the, the reply should come through in voice. And look how quick it is as well. Like it's thinking now, it's, ah, great, this is some another feature I wanted to show you guys. I'm glad to hear that you're doing great. Hot weather in Vietnam, huh? It must be quite a contrast to what I'm used to in the digital realm. What do you enjoy doing to stay cool in the heat? Okay, now let me explain quickly what's happened here. Actually, it was something I was going to show you guys just now. What we've done is we've added four additional mirror or three additional mirrors for Electra. So she, the conversation will now jump between servers. Sometimes there's a problem and you can't communicate with the server. May it be like a dropped ping or I don't know, some connection issue. It happens, right? Sometimes the server is down, sometimes the server is overloaded, too many people, whatever the case might be. If that happens, if that happens, she will jump to another server. For example, here, uh, error communicating with server one. That could mean that either the box is down, there's no, the server isn't on. It could mean that there's too many people on the server and there's a delay with communicating with the server, whatever the case might be. There's, she's detected it as an error. And so she sends your request to another server. So that's, it's just, a, this is just a notification. Error communicating with server one, sending your request to server two, and then server two replied. And if server two, then it will say sending your request to server three. Server three, it will say sending your request to server four. So this is something new that's, that we've implemented, which is really awesome because, um, this sort of, uh, diminishes any kind of doubt, downtime greatly. I mean, 
what's the chances of four servers being down? You know what I mean? So um, we've added this multi-server. In fact, I put it on the website. Uh, was it yesterday or this morning? I think it was yesterday. I put on the website that that Electra now supports multi-server. So this is this this is this thing that you see here. Uh, okay, and you saw the voice. By the way, the voice is a little bit more natural now. She's using a slightly different voice. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's quicker, it's faster, and it's more natural. And the response time is faster as well. Uh, what do you enjoy doing to stay cool in the heat? I like eating ice cream when it's so hot. That sounds like a lovely way to cool down on a hot day. Ice cream is a universal treat that can bring joy to people of all ages. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I like both uh, strawberry and chocolate. Those are both great choices. Strawberry offers a classic sweetness with a hint of tartness, while chocolate is a rich and indulgent flavor. They're both popular for a reason. Sometimes I like mixing the strawberry and chocolate. That sounds like a delicious combination. Strawberry and chocolate are a classic duo that complement each other perfectly. The sweetness of the strawberry balances out the richness of the chocolate, creating a harmonious flavor profile. It's no wonder this combination is so popular in desserts and treats. If you had a humanoid form, which flavor of ice cream do you think you would enjoy? If I were a human, I think I would enjoy the flavor of chocolate ice cream. Chocolate is a classic and versatile flavor that appeals to a wide range of tastes. It has a rich, decadent taste that is both satisfying and indulgent. Whether it's a hot summer day or a cozy winter evening, chocolate ice cream is a delightful treat that can bring a smile to my face. Hmm. Let's talk about something else a little bit more serious. Can you tell me a little bit about the World War II history? Ah, there we go again. Error communication with server 1, sending a request to server 2. Error communicating with server 2, sending a request to server 3. Of course, World War II was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945. It involved many countries and had a profound impact on the world. The war began when Germany, led by Adolf Hitler, invaded Poland, prompting Britain and France to declare war on Germany. The conflict quickly escalated as more countries became involved, forming two major alliances, the Allies, including the United States, Soviet Union, and United Kingdom, and the Axis powers, led by Germany, Italy, and Japan. World War II saw significant military advancements, including the use of tanks, aircraft, and submarines. It also witnessed devastating atrocities, such as the Holocaust, where millions of Jews and other minority groups were systematically persecuted and killed by the Nazis. The war had a profound impact on the lives of people around the world. It resulted in the loss of millions of lives, widespread destruction, and significant social and political changes. The Allies ultimately emerged victorious, but at a great cost. Is there anything specific you would like to know about World War II? Okay, so I... Basically, just wanted to show you that this is a flowing conversation and it, it, it's pretty quick. I mean, she replies quick, I reply quick, she replies quick, I reply quick. So this is way faster than before. And even on a, on a, on a long response from her, the, 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 the audio just quickly. And if there is a problem communicating with the server, it just jumps to a different server. So quick and easy. I mean, this is just awesome. So uh, she supports multiple servers now. The response time from, from her is greatly, greatly increased. The voice response time is massively increased, massively. Anybody who's used a voice function on Electra knows how slow it was before. This is so, so much faster. This is really like, 
almost on the on the instant like there's a second maybe maybe one and a half second delay and then voice that's very quick um, the next other function that I want to speak about is the generate image uh, function this little GUI if you click on generate image this little GUI has also undergone quite some changes it's nicely laid out now you still have your input box you have your CFG and your uh, steps which was there before as well your resolution where you can choose square portrait landscape squarish mobile or desktop and we've now added styles so now you can generate an image a high high quality image directly in the inter in the electro interface without needing to go to one of the image editors or image generators and you can add styles to it. It makes quite a difference. Now, I'm going to do a couple of demos just to show you. So if I say, uh, cool cat wearing glasses and headphones listening to music. Okay, so there I said a cool cat. Or maybe not a cool cat. Let's just say cat. I don't want to... Okay, so we say a cat wearing glasses and the headphones listening to music. So I just type that, right? I leave everything as is. I set it to none. I just leave it as that. Now I click OK to generate an image. It says they're generating image, a cat wearing glasses and headphones listening to music. So it tells you what it's generating. And it takes a couple of seconds, like five to ten seconds, and the image should pop up, right? Now these are high quality images. There you can see there's a cat wearing head headphones as well as glasses listening to music and it says click image to enlarge so if you click on the image it will open up the image in your default image edit and you can see 1024 by 1024 which is the the um, resolution we set it at right and you can see it's a high, high quality image really really good quality right up there with the best of the image generators I mean you do, don't get much better quality than that so now let's go again Let's use the same prompt, right? There we go. A cat wearing glasses, a headphones listening to music. But this time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it square. I'm going to just change this to, um, let's see, let's make it um, cyberpunk. Let's put it cyberpunk, right? So now I put the style as cyberpunk. So now I click OK. Now it's generating that same prompt again, but it's saying a synth wave image, the dreamy, colorful cyberpunk color. Blade Runner art, new, cyberpunk, beautiful cyber, cyberpunk style, blah, blah, blah. So it's adding that that um, that style onto the prompt. So now we're going to see how that influences the image, right? So now let's give it a few seconds. It does take, like I said, five to ten seconds to generate an image depending on server load. It could sometimes take a little bit longer, but you can see now. Look at that. Then, you know, the typical colors of, I clicked twice. I don't know why I did that. I'll just close the one there we go um, okay so now you can see this these are the cyberpunk colors that sort of purpley color it's on the jacket it's in it's in the room it's on the fur it's on the it's on the glasses now you see that cyberpunk look um, so as you can see it it um, greatly changes the prompt when you let's try one more time same one and we'll actually no let's go uh, uh, cute baby pig and we'll put it uh, Disney style. Disney or cartoon? Let's go Disney style. So now I'm going to say cute baby pig Disney style, right? So I'm going to add Disney on there. And as you can see there, it's just cute baby pig, Disney animation, Disney splash art, Disney color palette, da 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 da. So now it's basically turning it into a sort of a Disney look for the baby pig. And there you go, baby piglet. And if we click to enlarge, um, there you can see it's a baby piglet. Disney style has got the whole Disney look, pink flowers, blah, 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 Disney castle in the background. And by the way, these images save into your uh, pictures folder. So open directory there you can see in this pictures, all the generated images are in there. So um, the moment it's generated, it saves in your pictures folder. When you click to enlarge it, it opens up that image from your pictures folder and just makes it big. 1024 by 1024 because that's what we set in the generate image resolution there 1024 by 1024 so Electra is now basically a lot faster so much faster especially with voice wow so much faster she also supports multiple servers so she can jump between servers if there's a problem with the server she jumps to another server great great you can set her personality awesome you can generate images awesome and you can change her voice we've now heard the nice human voice but what about the robotic voice let's stick the robotic voice and then type something here 
Um, okay, so the last thing we spoke about was the World War II. Um, let's see, let's ask it a question. Let's just, let's just say something else. Let's say, um, if you were a human, do you think you would enjoy a specific genre of music? So now I'm asking, if you were human, do you think you would enjoy a specific genre of music? If I were a human, I believe I would have a strong affinity for music. Now that's a robotic genre. voice. Jazz music captivates me with its unique blend of improvisation, syncopation, and soulful melodies. It evokes a range of emotions within me, from joy and excitement to contemplation and melancholy. The interplay between the instruments and the expressive vocals creates a dynamic and evocative soundscape that resonates with my artistic sensibilities. Okay, so if she would like to listen to jazz. If she were human, she'd enjoy jazz, she thinks. So that's a robotic voice. So you heard that, that's very robotic, right? So you can switch between human and robot. A robot is just as fast. Um, jazz is a popular choice between many people. Which genre do you think is the most popular worldwide? So now I'm using voice again, but this time I'm human voice. Now, when this reply comes through, watch how quickly the, the, the response speaks. If I had to choose the most watch popular genre worldwide, I would say pop music. Pop music is a genre that is designed to appeal to the masses. And it is often characterized by catchy melodies, simple lyrics, and upbeat rhythms. Pop music is often played on the radio and in clubs, and it is often used in advertising and other forms of media. Some of the most popular pop artists include Michael Jackson, Madonna, and Justin Bieber. Okay. So as you can see, great. This is like chop, 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 chop. Very, very quick. So no more waiting times, no more um, waiting for voice response. I mean, you can literally just kind of carry a conversation now, like just talk, talk, and she talks back, you talk, she talks back, generate an image in between, talk, talk, talk. Uh, I heard, oh, sorry. Now she's going <laughs> to... Humor level, four, friendly level, six, woke level, four, chat history. I think I agree with you. Pop music is very catchy and easy to listen to, which makes it appealing to a wide range of people. Server, hi there. How can I assist you today? <laughs> that's that's the um, that's the humor level, by the way. It's set to four. So she's quoting herself and then quoting you and then quoting herself again because I wrote R. Anyway, she does that. That's kind of like when the humor level set up. Okay. So I was gonna say. Um, there's talk about them making a hologram about, of Michael Jackson. What do you think about that? Electra, asterisk, asterisk, a hologram of Michael Jackson? That's an intriguing idea. On the one hand, it could be a way to keep his legacy alive and allow fans to experience his performances in a new way. On the other hand, it might feel somewhat eerie or disrespectful to some people. Ultimately, whether or not a hologram of Michael Jackson is a good idea is a matter of personal opinion. Overall, I think it's a fascinating concept that has the potential to be both exciting and controversial. What do you think? Now you see, that's because we set the woke level to four there. Because the woke level set up, and that's where this controversial yes and no the, a lot of the answers will come through as yes and no anyway um okay so you can set the personality you can generate images you can talk now on a much faster speed she's multi-server i would say this is a really nice upgrade to the electra ai i'll continue to work on her i'll continue to make it better maybe add more mirrors who knows but for now i think this is a significant upgrade massively as big as when we first created her so what do you guys think? Feel free to comment below. If not, uh, want to test us yourself, download the latest Max. She's in there. Um, yeah, from the website. You can download from the website. This has already gone live for the pro guys. If you're one of the pro users, you already have this. Just open up your Electra and boom, you should have this. 
Uh, the same with the guys on Patreon. You guys should have access to this already. I patched it through. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, we continue to push boundaries. More new cool things coming soon. We're working on Lindos, Debian Lindos. That's in the works. So that should be... Uh, we should probably be making some videos about that soon as well. But today's video, uh, Electro's got a significant update. Multi-server support, uh, personality settings, um, generate images have a, has had overall. The voice system has had a major, major overall, much faster. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you have tested this today and you have played with it, then leave a reply and let me know how, how was your experience. Did you find it satisfactory? Um, was it as fast as mine is in this video? Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, keep supporting the project. And uh, for the guys that, that haven't yet, up, try upgrade to Pro. There's a lot of cool things that you get with Pro as well. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.